In this video, I will show you how to use the ACME protocol or automatic certificate management environment to automate the build and renewal of 40 gate SSL certificates that you use in the GUI and SSL VPN portals. ACME is a protocol that was built by the Internet Security Group. Fortinet has added official support for this feature since 40OS 7.0. To be able to replicate this setup, FortiGate must have a public IP address and the host name in DNS or a fully qualified domain name that resolves to the same public IP address. Also, the public interface, which we refer to as the ACME interface, must be public facing so that the FortiGate can communicate and listen for ACME updates. It must not have any port forwarding on port 80 or 443. And the certificate you generate in the setup can be used for the GUI and SSL VPN portals. It will hide all the security warnings because now you have a proper certificate that is signed by a public CA trusted by your browser. However, it adds a little more risk because now you are forced to expose your public facing interface to the internet. So in this case, I highly suggest you adopt a few additional security measures, including securing your admin account with a trusted host. So in the case you are only allowing internal devices or internal network to access your GUI, even through the public interface, you can go to your admin settings and modify the trusted host statement and list the specific networks you want to be allowed to even see the GUI before logging in. Any IP outside this trusted host statement will not be allowed to see the login or try to brute force into your firewall. Now let me show you on the 40 gate side how to implement this feature. Now I'm using my Elastic Course 40 gate. It has the public IP address 34.86.12.35. On your version of 40 OS, you will see a prompt to download the CA certificate. We refer to the self-signed certificate that is automatically generated by the 40 gate. One option you can do to trust the certificate is to install it on every individual machine, which is a very hard process. So instead, you can click change HTTPS server certificate, which is going to allow you to build a new certificate or even use your internal CA server to build a new GUI certificate. But if you are on a different 40 OS version that doesn't have this button, you just need to go to system settings, you'll get to the same page. Now you will see here HTTPS server certificate. All you need to do is to click create. And create is going to suggest for you ACME protocol as the first option, or you can use the import certificate to deal with a local CA server in your environment. We will go ahead with the let's encrypt. For the certificate name, choose any name you want. For this one, I will call it the GUI new cert. I need to add a fully qualified domain name for my public IP address. You can use your own domain if you have one, or if you don't have a domain, you can use a free service like DocDNS, where you can choose a host name and add the IP address as an A record. In my case, I'll use Route 53 and create a subdomain for my certificate. I'll call it firewall.elasticcourse.com. It will point to the 34.86.12.35. So the firewall.elasticcourse.com will be my fully qualified domain name. I'll use that as the domain. And I will also have to input the administrator support email for this domain. Now, before I click create, I want to make sure that DNS has populated first to make sure I don't run into issues. So I will use the NS lookup in my terminal to see which IP address is assigned to this domain name. As you see in here, the IP address has populated already. So I'll click create and wait a few seconds and see the magic happen with the Let's Encrypt service, giving me a free public certificate to use on my GUI. It already automatically found out the ACM interface to be port one and generated the certificate on my behalf. So now all I need to do is change the HTTPS server certificate to the new one, GUI new cert, and also add an additional security measure change the HTTPS port from 443 to something more hard to guess. 
and then I will change the IP address that I used to log into the firewall to the new domain name and also add the custom board at the end. And now as you see, the page loaded on the domain name and now the certificate is valid. I can verify by going into the certificate field and it shows that this certificate was signed by Let's Encrypt. It has a three month period and it also automatically renews. It also has a proper certificate chain by having an intermediate certificate and also the root certificate. So now I'm able to log into the GUI with no certificate errors. For whatever reason, if you run into issue with this process, you can always go to system certificates where you will see the certificate that was created, the GUI new cert, and it will show you any debug issues in here, like any issues with the communication with the server or any renewal issues. Or otherwise, the whole process will be completely automated. Every three months, you will have a new certificate and you don't have to worry about any manual work for this to happen. Now, very similarly, under SSL VPN portals, if you have configured a web access portal, you can go to the SSL VPN settings, make sure the server certificate is pointing to the GUI new cert or whatever name you choose. Also define the ACME interface and the board to use for this service. And then to verify this, we will go to the same domain that we choose on the process. And now I'm using my SSL VPN portal with a proper certificate from a public CA. And this is how you can use ACME to generate certificates for your GUI and SSL VPN portals. Thank you for watching.